Welcome to the Retrotech Blower Door Quick Guide video. Before you start setting up the equipment, there are a few things in the house that you'll need to set up first in order to test it properly. First, we'll want to make sure that all windows are shut and latched. We'll also want to make sure that all interior doors are open so that we can get an even pressure throughout the house. Next, we'll want to make sure that fireplace dampers are closed and that all ashes are cleaned out. Any combustion appliances will need to be turned off or set to pilot. And any exhaust fans will need to be turned off. And this includes bath exhaust and kitchen exhaust. Any dryers running will also need to be turned off before we run the test. We'll also wanna turn off any HVAC equipment and any ventilation equipment that we have running. Once the house is properly set up, we can now begin unpacking the frame. Here we're using the Retrotech aluminum frame and smart cloth canvas. As we unpack each framing member one by one, the two small pieces with the metal ends are the cross pieces. These will go in the middle of the frame. We'll set these aside for now. We'll assemble the frame in a rectangular shape with the weather stripping on the outside. Each framing member has a number on each end that will match to another piece. For example, here we will match one to one and snap them together. We'll do this on all four corners and once we have the rectangle assembled, we can go ahead and expand the frame to fit it to the doorway. And once we have it fit, we will turn the lock nuts down so that it keeps its shape. Next, we'll spread the cloth across the floor, and then we will fit the frame to the cloth with the Velcro tabs. As you can see, we are basically wrapping the frame with the cloth like a present. Once the cloth is installed to the frame, we can refit it to the doorway and flip our locking cams down to give it a snug fit into the doorway. Next, we'll get our cross members and expand those and put the metal ends into the slots. These are also numbered, five goes to the bottom, six goes on the top. We're gonna depressurize this house, so we're gonna install the fan with the inlet side facing us, hanging from this bottom crossbar. Next, we'll plug in the power cable, then we'll plug in our data cable to the in port, our charger cord if we choose to, and the yellow tube to the yellow port. And we're using the smart cloth here, so we're gonna take the long red tube and plug it into the red port on the cloth. But if you're using a traditional cloth, you'll need to run the red tube through the bottom and then toss it outside at least five feet away from the fan flow. The gauge attaches to the top crossbar using the belt clip on the Velcro pocket. Then we'll plug the data cable into the top, yellow tube to the yellow port, red tube to the red port, and our power cable if we choose to charge it. On the top on channel A, we want to read pressure in pascals. Channel B, we want to read flow in CFM, so we can just tap on channel B to change that flow output. Next, we want to make sure that we have the correct fan set up. So here we have a duct tester. We can just tap the picture of that. Then tap change device to see our different fan options. And we can just cycle through. There's our competitor's products, the whole flow option. Now we see our blower doors. We tap on the model 5000 since that's what we're using here. And we're gonna use ring A. With our fan still covered up, we'll go ahead and do a baseline reading. So in settings, the first option is baseline. We'll hit capture. And what this does is help remove any wind that's happening outside from the equation. And on a calm day, we'll do about 20 seconds. On a windier day, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Once we're satisfied, we'll hit end capture and we can tap the power button to go back home. Now we're ready to test. So we can go ahead and remove that B8 plate to set up the fan to match our gauge. We'll hit set pressure. We're gonna enter 25 to begin in with that way we can walk around and see if the fireplace is being disturbed we can check for any moldy or wet smells sometimes drain traps might be empty and plumbing which could bring some smells into the house so uh, running it at this lower pressure can just kind of help us identify some of those issues uh, that we want to go ahead and address before we ramp the house up to 50 pascals of pressure and so once we're satisfied with everything we've done our walk around uh, there's two ways we can run it up to 50 pascals. We can stop the test and re-enter 50 on our keypad, or we can use these green jog buttons and just jog it up to 50 from 25. And this will move it up in increments of five pascals as we touch it. So here we'll go ahead and ramp it up to 50. 
and now we can see our flow here on channel B is roughly uh, 2300 CFM, a little over 2330 uh, is what we're seeing here for our blower door reading at 50 pascals of pressure. This DM32 manometer can also represent leakage and air changes per hour at 50 pascals. All you would need to do is hit settings and enter the volume of the building into the gauge. And then under the settings menu, you'll select result to be displayed and then choose air changes per hour. And once we're satisfied with our reading, we can just hit stop and that will power off the fan. If you have any more questions or would like to see a more detailed demonstration of how to set up and operate a blower door, see our longer video called How to Run a Blower Door Test. Thanks for watching.